In our series, the 2020s, can you believe that? We're exploring the big topics that will dominate the conversation in the next decade. Well, today, our focus is on climate change. Over the last 10 years, sea levels have risen at an alarming rate. Biodiversity is reportedly declining faster than that of any time in human history. And millions, millions of people have been affected by extreme weather like hurricanes and floods. As 2019 ends, this year is likely to be one of the hottest on record. So what can we expect over the next decade? CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli is here to explain. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Yeah. I know we hear climate change. We do think doom and gloom. Uh -huh. The world's coming to an end uh -huh. relatively quickly. Um, but what are some of the technological advancements and innovation should we be looking at to help improve the issue of climate change. So this is the best part, right? Sometimes you go to the doctor and the doctor says, I'm sorry, there's not much I can do for you. Right. We know the answer. Mm -hmm. And the answer is to move away from fossil fuels and start leaning on sustainable energy. And here's the best part. The more we use sustainable energy, which is, you know, this energy that's given to us by the sun and the wind, it is free. The more that the prices go down of that, the more we have to create vast industries and vast employment and opportunities for ourselves. So the bottom line is that we can create a better life for ourselves. So we don't have to look at this as a death sentence or doom and gloom. Right. We can look at this as a time that we can create a brand new and better future with better jobs, higher paying jobs. So just to give you an idea, for every one uh, job in fossil fuels to create one unit of energy, mm -hmm. you need two or three of those jobs in solar power. And the fastest growing opportunities in the next decade, number one is wind technician, number two, solar technician. Think about that. Benefit the economy, benefit the environment. And make in it the clean. Same way. We've talked before on the Saturday show about this, but the Arctic and the Amazon seem mm -hmm. to be the two areas yeah. with the biggest change that we're seeing ahead. So these are tipping points. We need to watch them closely. The Amazon, it's being slashed and burned very quickly. Climate change is drying it out. And if we don't, if we're not careful, it could turn into a savanna. So from a rainforest with all that life into a savanna, Right now, it's acting as a carbon sink. It's pulling tons of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. It is helping us slow down the consequences of climate change. Pretty soon, it may not be able to do that. Same thing with the Arctic and permafrost. Permafrost is frozen ground in the Arctic tundra. That now, this year, has changed from being a net absorber of carbon dioxide to being a net emitter, which means that it causes climate change to spiral and go even faster. And we have to watch out for destabilization of ice shelves in the Arctic and Antarctica. That's something we hope doesn't happen, but if it does, sea level creeps up even faster. All right, Jeff Berardelli, thank you so much. You're welcome. Next week in our 2020 series, we'll explore the next decade in health and what advancements we could see.